What is going on, Brotherhood? Welcome to a brand new video. I know it's been a few days since I've uploaded. We all need to take our breaks once in a while. Life is busy. But anyways, I am back here today. In the last few days, we have had a lot of new reveals in terms of figures. I kind of held off because we've gotten sort of new things every day. I'm hoping that it's over now and I don't have to make another video about it. But anyways, we've got a lot to talk about. Brand new pictures of elites. We got the Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens first ever epic moments pack. We got the entrance great Kurt Angle and some other stuff. So let's get right into this video. For, 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 for so first of all here we have a new set and it's going to be WWE Monsters. Alright, so we've got zombies, we've got mutants, and now monsters. I'm not really going to talk a whole lot about this, but the set it looks like it is Jake the Snake Roberts. Asuka, Roman Reigns, Chris Jericho, Braun Strowman, and The Undertaker. I just cannot get into these weird fantasy sets, personally. Maybe I'll pick them up if I see one really, really cheap. But I figured I'd still put it in this video. It's still a Mattel figure. We did also see some new Retros figures. I'm not going to put them in this video. I'm not going to talk about them. I don't collect them. They're not really the same as Mattel figures. So let's get on. Where I think we're going to start off with some basics. So here we do have a basic set. I'm not sure exactly what set it is, but I'm guessing it's probably one of the next ones. And oh my god, we still have that trash arm articulation, which really, really sucks. We also have some new packaging for basics, if you can see in the back. We got the rock in the new packaging, as well as an older Braun Strowman, which is kind of weird. But the figures in this set, you can see we have Braun Strowman, AJ Styles, Natalia, and Kevin Owens. And something else that's really bothering me is apparently on the women's figures, they are taking away the ab crunch and waist articulation, which is so stupid, Mattel. Holy, if that happens... I'm going to say it now, I'm probably going to be done collecting women's figures. Just stick to the males, just stick to elites. It's getting pathetic, Mattel. This is just one way to push away your customers. I'm really pissed off about it, and I'm not going to talk about these figures individually because of that. We're going to get on to the battle packs and do that really quickly, just like this, so we can get onto some elites and talk about some actually good stuff. So here we have a battle pack set, and yet again, I'm not sure we have the official confirmed number of this set, but I'm pretty sure it is the next battle pack set. We got the club, the Ascension, Cesaro and Sheamus, and Stephanie McFoley, as well as Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton up front here. So I'm guessing this is actually probably going to be two sets. We usually get around three battle packs per set. So this might be uh, one full set and part of another, or maybe it's going to be a bigger set. I don't know, but they have that trash articulation. The only ones that interest me, I guess, maybe that Bray Wyatt for the head. Uh, it's nice to have Carl Anderson in the tights. The Stephanie and Foley one wouldn't bother me since they're actually not in the ring. And I might pick up the Ascension just because I don't have their figures and i got to keep the roster updated. And it is nice to get their new face paint, so that's kind of cool. But otherwise, pretty trash again. Let's get on to some Elites. So recently I did make a video about the full Elite 54 of... Uh, confirmed lineup and we do have images now for charlotte this was one of the ones we are missing i believe the only one we haven't seen yet is john cena now which is probably just gonna be an updated blue and orange attire like i said in that video but here we have charlotte and this figure looks pretty great minus the head scan not a big fan of it to be honest but one thing is that is new packaging we are getting some new packaging in the elite line as well it's kind of around every two years that mattel likes to switch up their packaging so that's kind of nice i do like the design but uh i guess i'll probably be a bit more of a judge whenever I see it in person, but on the pictures, it looks great. The Charlotte looks great. That's a cloth robe, which is amazing. I would have liked to have seen a women's championship as well, but unfortunately, that is not going to happen, considering there's a budget for these figures, and cloth robes do cost a lot. I can understand, but that Charlotte does look pretty great. Might pick it up. Probably won't, to be honest, but yeah, that's a great one. If uh, any Charlotte fans out there, any women's collectors, there you have it. New Charlotte Elite figure coming out. And oh my, here we have the first images for the Epic Moments line. Now this is the Epic Moments line. This is a new line starting up. It's going to have two elite figures and a whole bunch of accessories to recreate a moment in WWE history. And the first confirmed one is the Festival of Friendship, the night that Chris Jericho was dumped by Kevin Owens, Jericho broke up, leading to their big WrestleMania feud. An amazing moment, one of the best moments from 2016. So as you can see, we do have Jericho and Owens in their proper attires from that night. We got a pair of microphones. We got the US title for Jericho, the Universal title for Owens, the list of KO that was given to Jericho, and then, you know, Owens attacked him after that. We got the little welcome to uh, fabulous whatever it says on that TV screen. The one that uh, Jericho got his head put right through. We got that hilarious painting on the left. And on the right, we got the sculpture. Really nice looking packaging too. So that is the first epic moments. I cannot wait to see the second one, which is supposed to be the Hardy Boys and their return 
at WrestleMania 33. So that's going to be awesome. That's a really great set. I'm probably going to pick it up personally. So now let's get on to some more Elites. And while we're on the topic of new lineups, here we do have the returning entrance greats line. And of course, the first figure in that line is the first time in the line for Kurt Angle. Really, really awesome. I think it does look not as good as the early prototype that we saw at STCC, which is really sad. Not a big fan of the head scan. I think it looked better on the early prototype. Otherwise, we do now see it with elbow pads and knee pads. They were painted on last time. Of course, a lot of people were freaking out about that, but no, it's actually knee pads and elbow pads. I would have liked a better accessory for uh, the first entrance greats returning, but... With Kurt Angle, there's not a whole lot else you can do other than the gold medals. So he's got two gold medals that he comes with for accessories. Really, really awesome. I'm not sure if we're getting the stand that plays his song or not, but that'd be really cool. Cannot wait to get this Kurt Angle or any Kurt Angle, really. I might be more inclined to pick up a bald Kurt Angle, personally. But this is great for any Kurt Angle fans. Great to have a first time in the line for the Olympic gold medalist. And now we are going to get into the full set for Elite Series 55. And this set is pretty freaking awesome. First up, we have James Ellsworth. Number one, why does he have a cruiserweight championship? That is really messed up. James Ellsworth has never been cruiserweight champion before. I don't know why they are throwing it in with this figure. Very, very odd selection. And his legs, they are huge. Why is he so tall? That is just messed up. Otherwise, the face scan is great. The fabric shirt is great. The attire looks all right. I don't know if I'm going to pick this up personally. Ellsworth's not a huge character anymore. So, you know, we're going to see at the time. But I'm kind of excited to see what they're going to do with this figure. So anyways, let's get on to the next one. Up next, we do have the worst from the set, in my opinion, and that is Brock Lesnar. Why do we need another Elite Lesnar when we could be getting a first time on the line? I get it, he's the current Universal Champion, but I really don't care for this figure whatsoever. He does have that suplex city, like, sideless, sleeveless, whatever you want to call it, top. Really not a big fan of those rubber things. And he has the Universal Championship, kind of makes sense. Although, otherwise, it's just every other black shorts Brock Lesnar elite ever. Is it a new face scan? It's kind of hard to tell in this picture. It could be one of his straight-faced ones. I'm going to say it's one of his older face scans. If it's a new one, I don't know. I'm not that big uh, on it. Not really hyped up for this figure, I'm going to be honest. This is the definite pass of the set for me. I'm sure it is for most people. So let's get on to stuff that is actually exciting here we do have Enzo Amore from Elite Series 55. This is basically his network spotlight basic that had a recent release in Elite form. So the 100 sort of emoji shorts, certified G top, and some gold chains, as well as his microphone, their own sort of special microphones that him and Big Cass used on their tag team run. Honestly, this figure is a pass for me. I just recently picked up his Elite Series 50, but I can see why if uh, you missed out on that one or you missed out on his previous figures, it is a great one to get. So there we are, Enzo Amore, pretty good looking figure. But anyways, let's get on to his tag team partner, or should I say ex-tag team partner, and that is Big Cass. And I think this Elite, just like his first one, is complete trash. Really don't like the body choice. I don't like how his trunks continue onto his legs. Rubber top, rubber hat, one of those microphones just like Enzo. Really hate this figure, to be honest. The face scan is trash as well. Kind of a weird wide-eyed face scan. Really not a big fan of this figure. I'm going to pass and wait until we get a singles attire big cast. More than likely, but I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. Probably won't, to be honest, since I didn't get his previous elite. But anyways, let's get on to the next two, because the next two are for sure my favorites out of this set. First off, here we have the American Badass Undertaker. That is amazing. This is definitely the Undertaker Elite I was hoping for in this set. He does have another one of those rubber tops as well as a cap and the Undisputed Championship. So that's really great if you didn't get his first uh, Elite in this attire. I know I missed out on it. I wasn't even collecting back then. But this is really, really awesome. This is probably one of the gets for me from the set. Maybe not because it's a flashback, but I'm leaning towards yes. Anyways, very excited for this Undertaker figure. And now let's get on to my favorite from the set. And finally, we have the king of the cruiserweights, Neville, in his WrestleMania 33 attire. They've gone with a bit of a bigger body mold, at least for the arms for sure, but it's a great attire. I love that gold attire that he wore for that show. The face scan looks great. He's got the cruiserweight title. Really excited for this figure. I cannot wait. Can't wait to have that in my hands. Oh my god, is insane. Neville has become one of my favorite wrestlers ever since that heel turn. His character is great. His in-ring work has always been phenomenal. Cannot wait to get this figure in my hands. This is the definite pickup for me. 
But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. That's all the reviews we've had so far. There's probably going to be like five more by the time I get this out. I don't know. If, there, if there's a lot, I'll definitely make a video on it. If there's one or two, I probably won't. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and you like this style of video and want to see more, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with your friends, hit that notification bell, check out Walkout Wear, Code Undisputed, at checkout, and I will see you guys in my next video. Burn it down!